Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick demonstration of my effect pedals with my electric cello so that you can hear what they sound like on cello as opposed to guitar. And so basically I'll be going through and playing each pedal and talking a little bit about it. I won't be going too in depth with any one pedal because this is mostly designed for you to hear how these effect pedals for guitar sound like with electric cello. And then at the end I'll be doing a short improv where I mix and match some of the pedals, the way I do performances, so you can hear how they sound when they're combined. And before we dive in, I did want to mention that I just relaunched my Patreon page. And so if you enjoy my music or my videos and you wanted to show a little extra support, it would mean the world to me if you went and checked out that page. But without further ado, let's jump right into the demo. And so the first pedal I wanted to talk about is my Boss DD500 Digital Delight pedal. So that's just a very simple all-purpose quarter note delay. As you can see, there are a lot of knobs on this thing, and so there's a ton of possibilities with this pedal. I haven't even scratched the surface of what's possible, but what's nice is that you can save certain presets of settings that you like. And so I basically have three settings that I stick to that work for just about everything. So the first one was that quarter note one that I just played for you. Another one that I like to use is my half note version of that quarter note delay. So as you can hear, that one's a lot more ethereal and atmospheric than the first one. And so I usually don't loop with that one because if I did, it would get pretty messy with all the loops having that same delay. Except when I'm trying to create kind of a siren wailing sound. Um, I'll insert a clip here of me doing that. that I like to use is for my piece and trumpet. Um, there's a part in the middle where there's kind of a triplet-y um, pizzicato effect, and the only way I can really do that in performance is if I use this presetting. And those are basically all the delays that I use. I did get this one as a gift, so there's definitely a lot more to it than I need, but it definitely serves its purpose, and if you're someone who's into creating a lot of different effects and experimenting with sounds, this would be the perfect pedal for you. And so the next pedal I want to talk about is my Super Octave OC3 Octave Pedal. <laughs> Forward, obviously it creates that kind of octave down bassy effect which as a cellist it's one of my favorite things to do but what's cool about this pedal is that I can kind of experiment with different textures and styles with the pedal to create a lot of interesting sounds for example I'll use it with percussion to kind of create that bass drum effect I'll also use it with colenio And pizzicato. And so even though it's really simple, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it if you just get creative with your instrument. And I'll include a clip here of me combining the bass percussion with the colenio with pizzicato to create a really bassy kind of scary sound. So there are a couple different knobs on this one, but I don't want to get too much into that today. So let's move right along to my octave of moon pedal, which is what I use as my octave up pedal. And so you can also hear some octave down in that one. I do have the sub turned up just a little bit just to create a little extra texture, but you can adjust it where it's just octave up or just octave down. And what I like about this one is that there's no 
uh, limit on what pitch or frequency you can input into this pedal. And so what I mean by that is that with the other pedal, at a certain point it'll stop doing the pitch effect, but the Octave and Moon pedal will continue to do that octave doubling no matter what pitch you're playing. And so for example, and so you can hear kind of at that point it stops transmitting that octave down signal. Whereas, With the octave pedal, it kind of stays the same no matter where you are on the instrument, which I personally find to be really useful. The funny story with this pedal is that I bought the cheapest octave pedal on Amazon that I could find just to see if I liked the effect of the octave pedal with the electric cello. And I ended up falling in love with this one, so I bought the other one thinking like since it was more expensive, it was going to be better. And not to say that it's better or worse, but I do still love this pedal even though it's the cheapest one on the market. Um, they actually don't sell it on Amazon anymore, but I did find it on some obscure vendor on eBay when my first one broke. So yeah, that's the Octa a Moon pedal. And so the next pedal is the fun one. It's the Ibanez Tube Screamer Distortion Pedal, which is a pretty classic distortion for most guitarists. <laughs> So that's another pretty straightforward pedal, it just adds some distortion and grit to your sound to give it that like heavy metal rock and roll sound that you might want sometimes. And for the electric cello, it really makes the sound more like an electric guitar. And so I don't have too much to say about that one, I think it pretty much speaks for itself. And so this last pedal is actually my favorite one, but I use it very sparingly when I perform so I don't overdo it, um, just because it's such a cool effect. And it is my Vox Wah pedal. <laughs> And so the wall pedal basically acts as like a filter and it kind of like opens and closes the sound, which you can see I'm doing with my foot. And so when I pull it back, it kind of closes the sound. And if I push it forward, it opens up the high end. And so on its own, it's kind of an interesting sound and it definitely cuts through any texture. And so if I have a busy loop going, I can throw on the wah pedal and some other effects um, to kind of cut through the texture and create this like intense electric cello solo. And so the only pedal I don't have shown on my board besides my loop pedal is my reverb pedal. So this is the Hall of Fame 2 and it's a pretty standard but a really awesome uh, reverb pedal. And I put it at the very end of my chain after the loop pedal to kind of create like a cohesive sound for the entire mix. And so it's kind of like if you're sound engineering in a studio and you send all of your channels to one reverb to make it sound like it's in the same space. And so that's kind of the idea I had with putting this at the end of everything. And so those are all the effect pedals that I have right now. And now I'm gonna do a short from prop to show you how I combine some of the effects to create a lot of interesting sounds. And just so you know, all the products that I'm using today will be listed in the description box below, just in case you wanted to check out any of these pedals for yourself.
So I hope you enjoyed that short improv and I hope you enjoyed the video as a whole. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. It always means a lot. And if you have any questions at all about the pedals or my gear in general, be sure to leave them down in the comments. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.